Well, Bama Week is finally here, and you can feel the excitement around Baton Rouge and on campus, and the players, they acknowledge it. But what they also acknowledge is here in this practice facility, it has to be business as usual to get a win against former head coach, now enemy, Nick Saban and his Alabama Crimson Tide. A lot of people are excited around campus, uh, you know, they're feeling good, but um, as soon as something bad happens, it's not going to feel good. So we need to stay focused, keep improving. Like we did this past bye week, we got a lot better. It was a great week for us to just work on fundamentals and things like that. That will be the attitude and responses from LSU players all week when asked about their upcoming showdown against Alabama. However, many players still remain from that 2012 matchup in Tiger Stadium. And make no mistake about it, they remember that game-winning PD by T.J. Yeldon with 50 seconds remaining, and it still hurts. You know, of course it hurt, but you know, great team. You know, things happen. The two fan bases do not like each other, and with the players and coaching staffs being so familiar with one another, it heightens the intensity. Our football team seems to play biggest on a big stage, and uh, we'll... Uh, We'll look forward to getting to Tiger Stadium and allowing that, that, uh, that fan base to rock the place. Now, just a month ago, this game did not have the implications that it has now. But after three LSU victories over Florida, Kentucky, and Ole Miss, it has set the scene for what should be an electrifying atmosphere in Death Valley. At LSU, I'm Jason Dumas, NBC 33 News.